Hello to my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's get right into it. Let's see what's in your cards, Sagittarius. We got a couple of planets that are retrograde. Mercury went retrograde on the 5th of August. Yeah, it's officially retrograde on the 5th of August. It was pre-shadow retrograde for a while, so you're preparing to receive messages and downloads and those kind of things. We're in a new moon phase right now. So that's uh, Mercury is retrograde. Then we have some outer generational planets that are retrograde. Pluto, Chiron, Neptune, and Saturn, which are outer planets. We're still trying to decide whether Chiron is a planet or not, but it's on the outer, right? It's retrograde. Those planets are retrograde. And so a lot of generational cycles, chains, and curses are being broken. And so let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let us see what's in your card, Sagittarius. Talking to you wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart. Not just your sun sign, but wherever it is in your birth chart. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the King of Cups. Somebody is dealing with a master, master manipulator from the past. Master manipulator from the past. It's a guy. Um, here we have the King of Cups here. Somebody's dealing with a master manipulator. They like to, they like, and if somebody, somebody could, you could have dated from the past. Um, um, and, um, and every time you think about it, your thoughts go really dark. They go really dark. They go really low. Source is saying it's time to put a manhole cover over the past because it's affected three lives. It's, uh, and so here we have the queen of, uh, wands. And so you want to turn that king of cups, the negative energy that you've had to deal with that tried to judge you to, you know, try to put you under some kind of judgment. You want to. You want to be cool, calm, and collected about it. Like, in other words, put the past behind you and say, okay, I see you feeling happy, charismatic, and free. This is the queen of wands here. Your your attitude is great. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dark energy. It's two dark energies. So it's when we got the five of cups here, you got three cups that spilled over, right? So it's a it's two dark energy that's affecting another energy, two types of dark energy that's affecting another energy. And just master manipulation, right? Like just like energies that have always wanted to have this control over something, whoever these energies are, right? But your prayers are about to be answered real fast. The Lion Gates portal is open, right? Here we also have the Page of Cups here. Page energy is youthful energy, right? And so you're heavy on somebody's mind right now. But there's these two energies, uh, very manipulative energies that get that see you as competition in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You're not going ever going back to those energies. Your prayer is that all three of those energies are delivered from their demons. Whatever those demons are, demons of fear, doubt, uncertainty, feeling judged by other people, judging other people, harsh judgment, period, right? That they all make up, that everybody makes a powerful transformation to adding peace to people's lives instead of taking away from peace, um, or peace to people's lives. So you got some good news coming through. You got some good news coming through because your prayers are being answered. The thing about certain energies that's um, that they love, they love all the chaos and confusion. The air at the higher frequency is very thin. It's a, not a whole lot of people that will go all the way up to the higher frequency to pray for people who pray on other people. That's that air is very thin, unless it's some kind of sarcasm involved. You know, it's just some kind of the, it's, the heart is not in the right place towards. It's like they got to tell everybody, they got to get every, just all this drama, right? But but I feel like were you being cool, calm, and collected, having a great attitude, your attitude is determining your altitude, like how quickly things are going. Because you've made a very powerful transformation yourselves. This is the judgment card, right? This is it connects us to Pluto, which is retrograde. You made a very powerful transformation yourselves because um, in the past, it may have caused you to get depressed or sad or kind of like, you know, drop your head and just like drop your head and feel sad about things and just put you in a real low sunken place. But the person you are today, it's not. Here we have the King of Swords here. You're smart enough. You're wise enough. And you're taking a leap of faith forward. And you're saying, okay, you're praying for all three of the energies, three types of energies, right? And Source is going to answer your prayers fast. Source is going to answer your prayers fast. Here we have the Eight of Wands here. 
And so, um, yeah, it's going to have, something's going to happen fast. Something's going to happen really, really, really fast, right? He, and somebody, the power is going to be taken back. Here's the, um, the, the magician card. Somebody's dark spell is going to be broken. Yep. Somebody who was confused or disorganized in their thinking because you put a manhole cover over the past, it's going to, it's going to inspire other people to move on from those types of energies because they get excited about the wrong thing. They're operating in the flesh. You're operating in the spirit. So, yeah, King of Swords energy. Here we have the Fool card. Yeah, so the Fool card lets me know that you've already left behind a bunch of distractions. You've cut away a lot of distractions. You're just in a different headspace, you know, Sagittarius. And you're not all about the foolishness. You're not all about the bad risk and jumping down in a hole, you know, like this right here. Jumping down into a snake pit of predators, right? Because we talk about... Uh, this cups energy right here that's water that would be like okay water predators like sharks snakes frogs whatever like whatever would be poisonous or venomous you're not trying to jump down into a dark space you know with energies that like i said they they get a thrill out of that kind of stuff they like get a thrill out of being in survival mode right so source is saying to you, you're taking a leap of faith and you're praying for all three types of energies, right? Here we have the two of swords that the that the uh, blindfolds are being removed, like one energy in particular that the blindfolds are being removed um, from their eyes and that the devil is has taken over something, right? Yep, there's one energy in particular that is chained to the devil. Like usually on this car, you'll have a devil and then you have two energies that's chained to the devil. And so <clears throat> you're praying that people are coming through wilderness situations, that they come out of wilderness situations and they come into the light. So that's what you're going to have to see. in a Because people get to a point where they just feel like they just feel defeated. They just feel like, okay, isn't, things aren't happening fast enough. They're operating in fear. They're confused. All and people around them are just clapping and cheering and all this other stuff. Like okay, like you have one for the team, and you know, and and uh, Sagittarius left, you know, something behind, you know. So source is saying this energies that which you're not going back to, and this is where you see the pigs fly. You're not going back to being chained to anything, fear, doubt, uncertainty, none of that. You have raised your frequency because you know who created the devil. You know that source created the devil. So the reward, because you're being obedient and operating in the spirit and taking your power back from black, from black magic or darkness, is that the reward is going to be much greater than you even imagine. So that's what I'm saying for you and your cards, uh, Sagittarius. Your reward is going to be much, so much greater just because you recognize that the devil is in the details. The devil is in the details, right? And um, and in the full card, you're going to feel changed, liberated, and free. Now that you've moved on from, um, now that you've moved on from um, something. So here we have the Ace of Swords. Here we have the Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands here with the Emperor card. Here we have the Ten of Cups and also the High Priestess. Yeah, so, yep. So, <clears throat> somebody's um, blindfolds are going to come off and it's like they're going to even they're gonna feel like they're having a nervous breakdown, but it's actually a breakthrough, right? Because that's how it always feels like when, you're, when your blindfolds are actually removed. It's like, okay, they feel like they're having a nervous breakdown. Like, what the heck was I control? What, what kind of control was I under? What in the world was happening, you know, to me? They were carrying somebody else's burdens on their shoulders. Here we have the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, they were carrying somebody else's burdens on their shoulder. You know, and it, it is for them, it's going to feel like they just haven't, you know, like I said, breakdown. They messed up. You know, here we have the Ten of Cups. So it could be somebody's ex who feel like they let their family mess up their family and mess up their happiness and joy. Like, what did they, what did they create? Like, what did, what, why couldn't they see something? Right? So here we have the Emperor card. Um, And so you, you had to take a, you had to take a, um, somebody, you had to take an executive stance on something. Like, you had to. For you, you had to get on the light side of emperor energy. You had to get into this, 
structure and authoritative mode like where you weren't operating in fear at all you be like okay i see the devil when it, i know the devil when i see it right you had to say okay devil let's what's up right that's the energy you had to be on because devil energy we're not talking about a person so we're crystal clear it's a spirit it's uh you had to it's like you know it can make it can render some people feeling like what the heck is happening here just like you feel like you literally going crazy here we have high priestess so yeah somebody had to really get into high priestess and start weighing the pros and cons of situations here we have the queen of wands here and um yeah somebody was um i see you adjusting your crown um and i see you being um you know happy charismatic and free but I, I feel like there's a there's another energy that's on the dark side of it, this narcissistic energy that is making something they have very low self esteem. They like the they like the you can use the fire for good or you can use the fire for evil, right? Using a fire for evil is making other people carry your burdens on your shoulder, their their rage, their anger, their frustration and all that. But somebody is going to wake up and say, it's not my responsibility to carry all of that on my shoulders. That's not my responsibility. So, you know, to carry all that frustration and anger and rage on my shoulders because it's just causing me to lose out on too much. I must have been under some kind of a dark spell. What the heck was wrong with me? Right. And so, but you had to lead something out. Like you had to, um, you had to get into going out to a higher frequency. You had to kind of come out of your flesh and go to a higher frequency and go, you had to like really take your power back. Like really had to take your power back. And you had to really, really, really take your power back. So yeah, something is something is definitely being restored here. Something something is being, you know, like I said, some peace is being restored here. Some peace is being restored for somebody because it's just too much chaos and confusion. That's what I'm saying. Generational cycles and chains and curses being broken. A lot of times people don't want those cycles, chains and curses broken. They don't. They too busy. They too busy, you know acting like a like a like a person who's throwing a tantrum like this like a why like all the attention has to be on them all the time they always in competition with somebody they sit over in the corner their arms folded stomping mad so a source is saying but it's ruining people's relationships friendships everything here we have the four of wands here yeah so some kind of um Either you're gonna be going to somebody's wedding or something is happening here with some kind of some kind of peace is being restored, some kind of balance is being restored, you know, in relationships are happening here. Um and um yeah, some some kind of major changes are happening here. Here with the lover's card, some kind of a decision is being made. So lover's card is about um partnerships in business and or in love, but it's also a decision to get away from dysfunctional relationships and also being in get away from being indecisive right and that's what social is trying to tell somebody say either you have new and exuberant love coming across your path or somebody else has it coming across their path that you love um and that you'll be celebrating with them in some way shape form or fashion so if somebody is at a breaking point, somebody that's just ace of is, and, and it's like they don't know why, like they don't even know what the motive is. It's like they just feel like they're having a nervous breakdown. It's not you. It feel like somebody else is having a nervous breakdown because they feel like they are in survival mode. That's why all this fire here. That's all they feel like they're in a fire. So his discipline here. Yeah, they feel like they're catching it on all side. Like they're catching heck on all side. Y'all the H E double hockey sticks. They catch it on all sides and your intuition is telling them it's like they just they feel like they just catch stuff on all sides. And um and so um but they just need to put a manhole cover over the past in order to restore some kind of balance here. And if it, it feels like for you as a prayer warrior, your head and heart are no longer at war with each other. I feel like you have moved on from something and you're at peace with something and um that's how you can you're able to you moved on from past disappointments i feel like you may have moved on from past disappointments in your own family and um and so that's why you're able to 
that's why you're able to be so cool, calm, and collected for other people around you, uh, Sagittarius. Here we have the Three of Wands here. Yeah, so I definitely feel like you were definitely born to inspire. I feel like you were born to inspire. And I see that's why you're taking a leap of faith. Here we also have the um, Princess of Swords here. Yeah, so somebody's in good spirits. Third eye wide open. Yep. So I definitely feel like somebody's third eye is open and we got um 888 eight, eight here so in terms of like tossing things into a burning bowl i feel like that's what somebody's gonna be tossing into a burning bowl i feel like somebody's gonna be tossing into a burning bowl like you know and i've said this in a couple of other readings so in case you hear this me say this in another reading it's, it's coming out real strong because a lot of stuff that's happening is generational it's just like you know you're praying that their souls are released from just being prayed for the devil like p-r-e-y like that they're just, you know, that they're out of misery. That their spirit is no longer miserable. Like they make a decision. Like somebody makes a decision to listen to their own intuition. That they get clear in their thoughts. Like somebody gets real clear about who they are. You know, about, you know, that fire in their spirit, right? And like, what is that fire? What is it? What is... What are they inspired by? Like is, as far as their sexuality is inspired by and motivated by their arts, you know, what they're, you know, in. Like they just, they don't, they leave behind fear, doubt, uncertainty. Get, they get leave behind, you know, that they deliver from other people's opinions of them in every way, shape, form, or fashion. That they make something, like something has to be made clear in their spirit. So you're, like I said, you're, you're praying for people to just kind of really, um, you know, to just make peace with whatever is like that fire shut up in their bones. What is causing somebody to be so angry, so frustrated, so enraged about some things, right? And so, um, and, and why are people making them feel like something is so demonic, you know, in their spirit? Like they, why are they feel like they inhale, like for real? Yeah. Um, and so I feel like, um. You know, I feel like you're tossing some things into a burning bowl. Here's the um, sun card, the death card, the lover's card, the uh, ace of wands. Here we also have the eight of swords here. Here we also have the six of swords. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah. So, yeah, somebody definitely feels like they're really restricted. Here was the sun card here. Somebody just feels like they're restricted and you're there to help them make it to the other side. You're there to help them make it to the other side, to go to the rebirth side, to kind of sort of go through a metamorphosis, a very powerful transformation. And then you've always been there. Here we also have the Ace of Wands because your third eye is open too. Like you you see something, right? Here's a lover's card. And so some kind of a partnership in business and or in love. Like I said, you have already, you see things at a higher frequency, right? And so you don't feel restricted, but you know how it feels to feel restricted. Like, you know, you just feel like you're just around a bunch of energy vampires, and so this eight of swords where you just can't really see, you really can't see your way through things. So you have a loved one that's giving you uh, water. They're saying here, hey, that's basically saying here, take a, um, you got a loved one that's like passing you water. Like here, here's some water, you know, here's some water, you know, don't get spiritually dehydrated, you know, about whatever is going on. You're helping people to get to the other side. Like you're helping people to, and I don't mean there's a physical death, just so we're crystal clear. There's a tower moment that's happening here, just so we're crystal, like a total recall of some things, right? Something is reminding you, somebody is going through something that reminds you of something. So, um, so, and they feel restricted. They feel like they can't think straight. They can't see, they can't think straight. All of that. And that's what Source is using you for. Yeah, that's what Source is using you for. Mm -hmm. And some kind of spell, like some some kind of like bullying or they just, they feel like they're in their own personal hell. They just feel like they just can't think straight, whoever it is. Yeah, whoever it is, they feel like they just cannot think straight. So it's time to heal your wounded um, healer, right? So whatever that, that's Chiron, by the way. It's time to heal your wounded healer. So that's what we mean. Like if you, whatever your wounded healer is, is going to help somebody else heal theirs. So adjust your crown. 
The angel of prophecy of wisdom is with you. Be patient. The answers are coming. The angel messenger of um, God is with you. Don't forget that rest is a form of self-care. But somebody was definitely trying to box your water in, like trying to control your water, trying to control your intuition. Water would be intuition, your creativity, your sexuality, sensuality, like trying to control uh, what you created. So it was like trying to control your child, trying to control your money, like whatever it is you created, right? Something was trying to control your art. And so somebody has been there before where people try to control, you know, like if you have a loved one that really wants to kind of be artistic and people around them are just trying to control, like evaporate their artistic efforts and get them their mind all over the place and they feel restricted where they are. You've been there before, right? So don't cast your pearls before swine. Like I said, something was trying to box somebody in. Somebody wants to call you, but they haven't changed. But speak some things into existence, but the spy is now turned on. Make room for a new blessing and check your request list again. Um, and so they are amongst incubi and succubi, right? So pour into yourselves more. They're planning to disrupt your money, backfire, a message from your ancestors. Drink more water as a form of self-care. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Drink more water as a form of self-care. But don't forget to find out what your Chiron is. But you'll be right there to help people on the other side. But you're doing it, you're doing it in a different way, you know. Um, um, you're you have a major advantage because you know how to pray for people and really trust source. That's your major advantage versus um, being in the um, operating in the flesh. Yeah, operating in the flesh, you know how to pray for people, right? To wake up out of a nightmare, you know, that they, they, so you can move on from the disappointment of some situations without really feeling like you're restricted. Like, you know, especially when you're dealing, you can go on to the, the prince or princess lifestyle of just like feeling good about life and just in good spirits. Even when you know that people feel restricted, you know, wherever they are, they feel creatively, they feel restricted because you've been there before. So you're a great person to talk to, you know, about that, and especially a great person to pray for them because they, they, you know, they feel restrained and they don't even know what to pray for, you know, they don't know what to pray for. So, but the thing is, is that misery loves company. So these other people who are preying on someone's creativity, if you were to stay connected to them, would drain you of your creativity that's why if the, when you start thinking about staying connected to certain people you're not even in good spirits you're not happy you're not flourishing things are not flowing to you money is dried up all kinds of your creative ideas all that stuff is dried up but once you detach from certain types of people then you start noticing things flowing to you because somebody is starting to learn how powerful prayer is especially when you're dealing with people who are around predators they prey on people's gifts. Oh, that's never going to work out. That's Why would you want to do something like that? They prey on people's gifts. Oh, you too old to do that. Why would you want to be an actor? Why would you want to be an actress? Why would you want to sing? Why would you want to dance? Why would you want to learn how to play music at this stage in your life? Like you're never too late to, to start something. Here we have zero, zero. I am observing. Angels ask for your attention. Open your eyes. Listen and think about everything that is happening. Trust your intuition and follow their guidance without any delay. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Focus inward through meditation and prayer. Yeah. So you're praying, you're with somebody in spirit, whether they realize it or not, they get to the rebirth side. Because somebody has like this, somebody has really just kind of, so their crown has fallen off their head. They just feel just worth, they just feel like, you know what, the sun, it, it's like they, they feel like they're just in a, a place of just darkness. So here we have work. I am grateful for insightful, genuine, and productive conversations. I give thanks to, uh, I give, I give thanks all Discord is now exiting my life with harmony and ease, right? So yeah, if you've already been there before and you got loved ones who they just feel like, man, you got any nieces or nephews whose parents are like pressing them on any or both sides and then you, you need to go to school and you need to do this and whatever, that's what this is right here. You know, that's never going to work out or whatever. Yeah, just loved ones in general, you know, when people are just telling them, 
you know, because nobody supported them. They feel like, oh, you're too old to do X, Y, and Z. And you know, creatively, you're doing it. That's what this reading is about right here. That's what this entire reading is about. Or somebody who wants to come out, right? And 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 they 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 feel like they're you know they don't they don't feel comfortable and they don't have anybody to talk to. That's what this reading is about here. All of that is in the sacral chakra bowl. All of that is in the sacral chakra bowl. So inner power, yeah. So let it be known that no will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. That's right. Yep. So you're very, very powerful, Sagittarius. Um, and I feel like you all are helping so many people more than you realize. You're helping more people than you know, you know, on their journey, whatever their journey is. Just by just by your example, I feel like you all are helping so many people. I accept myself as I am. This is um, affirmations for acceptance. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. Yep, I am at peace. That is what I have for you. Like I said, it takes a lot to get to this right here. When your spirit is at a high frequency, when you're saying, okay, you are not harshly judging anybody, but you will not stick around for somebody to harshly judge you when you can extend grace to people for real. Like you're not, you're not, you sticking around. So again, somebody has helped. It's a, a tower moment that's happening here. And, um, you know, and so the, it's like, it's like your fear and doubt is having a tower moment. It's like the tower is falling on the devil. It's like, okay, like fear, doubt is breaking up those demonic, uh, ties and, and you're the one that's praying for, for all of it. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me. And when I say demonic ties, I'm talking fear, doubt, uncertainty. Y'all know what I'm saying. I'll see you all in the next reading and you'll see your, um, Lionsgate portal reading uh, prediction video very soon. All right. Bye.